All right, here I am at the corner, and there's, take a look at the road. No ro no cars, red car right in front of me. We know that they gang stalk at corners. Am I saying that this car is a gang stalker? You know I never say individuals are gang stalkers. But just notice, empty road. There is no one here. We approach the corner, and it's the same pattern that you always see in government gang stalking. Red car at the corner. Now, we know that it's the neighborhood watch groups gang stalking using red cars, red trucks, wearing or carrying red. We need an investigation into government gang stalking, but we're not gonna get it with the corporate media because gang stalking is an outcome of corporations, multinational corporations taking over the world, a new world order where all they care about is money. They don't care about the rights of individuals. As a matter of fact, they want the status quo because it's socialism for the rich, uh, competition for the poor. They like that. What are you going to do about it? Well, you have a chance this Tuesday to do something about it in California by voting for Cindy Sheehan, not one of the power elites, Governor Brown, who is responsible for gang stalking in California. The ACLU says that uh, police surveillance is going on in over 30 states. That means that there's approximately 40% of the states that aren't doing gang stalking. And that's because of the governors in those states. We have a chance to get a freedom governor instead of a gang stalking governor. Cindy Sheehan, Tuesday in the primary election.